CTV Community Television presents The Focus Program. Hosted by Paul Dingaman. Welcome to another edition of The Focus Program. My name is Paul Dingaman, I host this program. Got some very interesting uh, interviews for you today. Uh, uh, things are always going on in the Blue Water area, Marine City, St. Clair, up in Port Huron, and that's no different. We want to keep you informed about what those events are. Today we've got some representatives from Mid-City Nutrition and from Empty Bowls Project, and then from Marine City, part of the cast of Mary Poppins will be joining us. So let's begin with a friend, Alice Reeves, Mid-City Nutrition, Chief Cook, Bottle Washer, and everything. Everything, And yes. Denise Denklau, nice to see you. Welcome back nice to, to the you. Focus Program. Thank you for having us. Happy. This has become a wonderful annual event for you two ladies to stop in and preview a wonderful event in Port Huron called Empty Bowls. What's it all about? It's a, um, the only, actually it's the only fundraiser that we do during the year. And I'm going to let Denise talk about it. You know, this is our 12th year, Paul. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah it really is. Oh, and God. we're really excited. I've had the honor now, uh, this will be my second uh, year as chair. Yep. And uh, last year we raised uh, just under $22,000. Wow. I know. For, That's great. For a three and a half hour event, I think yep. we're doing, yep. doing yep. pretty well. We had uh, 480 attendees last year. And um, Alice had one soup bowl left at the end of the night. So we're going to correct that situation. Yes. <laughs> but um, Thursday, April 16th is our event this year at St. Stephen's Gymnasium. Oh, in, it's at St. Stephen's, okay. Yeah, in the um, gymnasium. The parking is, is plentiful, so right. we don't have to worry about that. And um, we're just excited. It's the same format. You come in, you buy a ticket. Ahead of time, $25, $30 at the door. You get to choose one of the amazing bowls that are made by either one of the 25 professional potters that provide bowls or hundreds of the students that also spend almost an entire year making about 500 ceramic bowls. Okay, let's talk about some of the bowls. I'm going to hold one up here, and if Elizabeth will shoot in, we'll, we'll take a peek at it. But talk to me about who makes them. What's what students? What what school? Mike Bladelow uh, from Marine City High School. His students make them. From the Marine City High? Yes. So it's not a pottery class or anything else? It, it's he is an art teacher. Okay. And I believe that is a bowl that you are holding that Mike Bladelow himself threw, and then Mike also threw this great big serving bowl. Well, that the big we one in use. front here. The big one in the front. Okay. Um, oh, and there's a, if, they, if they can shoot the logo on the front there. Uh, uh. This bowl, the night of the event, um, Paul, will actually um, be used by the volunteers in the kitchen at the empty bowl event um, to serve the soup um, now, shoot, that shoot will be served. Here. Yeah, that's there what I want to see. Empty bowls, uh, what's that say? Donated by Michigan, Michigan. Mudslingers, Mudsling Potterer. Yeah. Michael Bladelow. Okay, Michael Bladelow. Okay. And then Celeste Skelnick from um, SC4. She has a pottery class and uh, her students also. Uh, how about uh, Mr. Jason Steyer? Does he Mr. Come? Jason Steyer uh, does his students do bowls. It's just, uh, I, let me see this one here, folks. There you go. Yes. Look at the colors in there. That's just remarkable. It's gorgeous. So I go, I come to uh, St. Stephen's. Uh, gym on April the Thursday, April the 16th. What time again? Four o'clock. Four o'clock in the afternoon. And I, I pay for one of these bowls. You've already paid for I've the bowl. I've already paid for the bowl. You pick the bowl up. Okay. You Let take that other one. You take the bowl home empty with a scroll in it to give you the history of the empty bowl. And you take it home to remind you that people in your own community are hungry. Oh my god. So then, you don't I don't put soup in this? No. One. Okay. No. Um, Mike Moretz makes yep. bread bowls. And this year, because we've become so cognizant of people who are gluten intolerant, we... Um, and they don't are, break. And they don't break, <laughs> unless you drop them. Um, so we plan to have 24 gluten-free bowls. Okay. Alice will be making the same great soup choices that she's made in the past, and I'll let her talk about those because they're very, very good. We have a white chicken chili. Okay, white chicken chili. A chicken noodle with vegetables. Okay. And a vegetarian, gluten-free vegetable soup. Okay, so th a choice of three Choice different of types? three different soups. Soups. You can have them either in the bread bowl, or you can have them in a regular bowl, or you can have it to take home if you don't have time. So come in, pick out your bowl, 
pick out your dinner to go. But most people like to stay around the whole yeah. evening. Johnny Needham Place. And oh, it's, wonderful it's just old a, Johnny. Yep, and it's just a great family night. Nice story in the savvy about Johnny just recently. Oh, is that right? And, uh, you were probably on one of your trips in Guatemala. Probably, yes. Uh, three soups, April the 16th. Four starts at 4 o'clock in the afternoon at, at uh, St. Stephen. Until 7.30. Until 7.30. Right, we have a silent auction that will run from 4 to 6.15. And it's, it's really great because we have items that are donated that run from jewelry to children's clothing and then we also have a separate children's table and it's priced for kids so when the kids come they get really excited because they go and they sign their name and they bid their quarter or, mm -hmm. or their 50 cents or whatever mm -hmm. and then at the end of the night they get to take home in addition to a bowl and having had fun they get to take home um, a fun kids oh. item too yeah so it really makes for a nice family night can I are there, are there takeouts I mean can I call ahead you can Yes. Okay. And what's that number? 810-334-7566. Very simple number. 334-7566 for, for uh, call-in orders and Correct. pick up orders. We mm -hmm. also have sponsorship opportunities, Paul. So okay. if, if there's anyone out there that's interested in doing a $250 sponsorship. Oh, that's not bad. No, it's not bad. And they get two tickets to the event plus their name in the program and then recognized the night of the event, and they can contact me at 810-650-2347. 2347. 650-2347. Correct. And it's Denise, and uh, that would be if you want a sponsorship. Yes. Great. Yes, mm -hmm. and tickets are available by calling our um, chair of the ticket uh, committee. Her name is Donna Baker. Okay. Her number is 810-334-2347. Six two two one. I know this is a lot of phone numbers, um, but you could also. We'll bet them in the lottery. <laughs> uh, three three four six two two one. That is correct. That's for that tickets is. in advance, okay. or you can get tickets at Mid City Nutrition mm -hmm. at weekends in Port Huron, or at the Exquisite Corpse, which is a yep. coffee shop yep. in Port Huron yep. as well. Yep. Or by calling um, Alice or myself, certainly we could. Um, get Alice those at three three four seventy five sixty six. That or nine eight two. Nine two six one. Okay. <laughs> we'll stay with that. Okay. Okay. So we've raised some money. What yes. happens with the money? The mo it's a hundred percent profit. Everything okay. is donated. We are a soup kitchen, the only full time soup kitchen in the county. We've been around for twenty eight years. I have been the director there for twenty two years. Last year we served over fifty six thousand meals to over fourteen hundred individuals. That's just a staggering number. People just I don't think can get there their hands around it, their heads around it. In St. Clair County in 2015, we've got to serve 56,000 meals. You know, it's just, just amazing. Well, if you, if you understand that because Port Heron is the county seat. Correct. Um, if you're coming to, if you live in, and we have people that live in St. Clair mm -hmm. that come to the soup kitchen. If you're going for a doctor's appointment mm -hmm. or community mental health, you don't have money to eat, then you come in the soup kitchen and you have a meal. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that I love about it, Paul. There's no, you don't have to fill out any paperwork. Okay. You don't have to prove anything. You just have to be hungry. You just, you just have, have to, to be, be hungry. hungry. And that's why this event is so important for our county, for our communities, because there are people that are hungry, believe it or mm -hmm. not. No, I believe it. You know, so we have a lofty goal of $30,000 this year. So I need everybody to get behind this event, get behind those sponsorships, come out and have a bowl of soup, and remember, that there are people that go to bed hungry every day. Too bad she's not enthusiastic. <laughs> I know, really, really. <laughs> I do love this event, and I'll tell you why. I love it because 100% mm -hmm. of the dollars raised stay right here. They don't go for anything else except the good work that Alice and the volunteers at the soup kitchen do every day. Uh, speaking of that, uh, how many people you got volunteering now? Do you always, you always need some more, don't you? About 800. Uh, but uh, we do have 800. Some, about 800 steady volunteers. We have 800. 800. Right, 800 yeah. Are they bumping into each other? No, because they don't all come at the same time. Okay. We have two groups that come from St. Clair, St. Christopher's. Um, they so people from St. Clair. If you go to St. Christopher's or Up you want to pop in, no, right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, St. Mary's. St. Mary's. Mary's. Yeah, St. Right. Mary's here in town. And then um, I have a single gal that comes in three or four evenings in the afternoon that's retired from St. Clair. It's not that far to drive. Right. Um, 
different churches. And what do they do when they volunteer? Well, if you come in in the morning, you cook lunch, okay. which is a full meal. Dinner is a bowl of soup, sandwich, crackers, and cookies. We serve seven days a week, Monday through Saturday. We serve from 11 till noon, mm -hmm. Sunday night through Friday night from 4 till 5. So it's four and a half hours in the morning, two and a half hours in the afternoon. Okay. And they can get you all of you the same number, 334-7566. They can, yes. Uh, one other question before I let you go. Now I forgot the question, but that's uh, it's all part of the part of the par for the course these days, right? Uh, so you've got 800 volunteers. They do rotate. Uh, where is the Mid City Nutrition? In case I've never you've been there. Okay, it's located in the basement of St. Martin Lutheran Church at 805 Chestnut Street. Okay, and that's off in of Port Huron. Near 10th. Off of 10th. Okay. Yeah. On Chestnut Street. Yes. All right. One block west of St. Joe's. Okay. All right. So April 16th starts at 4:30. 4:30. 4:30. Four. Four o'clock in the afternoon until 7.30. Correct. At St. Stephen's uh, Catholic Church Gymnasium. Correct. Plenty of parking. Absolutely. And the entry fee was? $25 well, in advance. Bad. In advance. 25 right. in advance. Right. And like I said, in addition to getting a, a beautiful bowl to take home as a reminder, it, it's an awesome night of fellowship, of fun, and you will feel so good when you leave there that you'll know that you actually helped someone else in your community that's hungry. Isn't it nice to know somebody personally like Alice Reeves? It is. That does such great work. You know, I, okay. I'm amazed every day at what Alice, if, if you've gone to the soup kitchen or been there for any reason, it is absolutely amazing, and I would encourage anyone to to volunteer or just go over and see what they're doing. It, it is amazing. See that halo? Above yeah, I don't know about that halo, but if you stop by, I'll buy you a free lunch. Yes, there is a free lunch in town. <laughs> That's the date, April 16th, and you are invited. Bring your $25 and your uh, hungry self and come on up to St. Stephen's Gymnasium and help Empty Bowls Project to uh, support the efforts at Mid-City Nutrition. We'll be back with uh, some thespians from... Uh, Hello, not hello, Dolly. What did I say? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. <laughs> Yay. You're flying in here in just a minute. <laughs> back, and we are back with uh, some real thespians from... Uh, the theater called the Riverbank Theater in Marine City. Joining us for this set is Emerson Lang. Nice to meet you. Thank Welcome you. to the Focus set. And uh, Ben Adair, nice to meet yeah. you, sir. We're going to get into interviewing you two in just a second, but let's talk to the director of the next play that's coming up at uh, the Riverbank Theater in downtown uh, Marine City, yes. uh, Brittany Smith. Nice to see you. Welcome back Thank to you. the Focus Show. Thank you. You are uh, directing this time. You directed yes. uh, previously, too. Um, yep. I've directed a couple times at The Snug, um, and this is the first big musical that I've done where I'm directing and choreographing. And choreographing. Yeah. How many members of the cast? There are about 20. Wow. Yep. So it's a big group. Yeah, it is a great, big group. Great, great group. Have you performed in Mary Poppins before or directed? No, that? you know what? Um, the, the rights to the show just became available, so we're one of the first um, theater companies in Michigan to be able to do the show. Okay, and are we going to have some flying in it? Or? Oh, yes. Oh, Lots really? Of special effects. Mary does have to fly, so they're working on all the rigging for that. Um, so, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Uh, when, let's begin, before we get any further down the interview, when is the show opening in Marine City? Um, it runs April 10th through the 26th, so okay. three weekends. Um, there are evening shows and matinees, and you can visit the website, riverbanktheater.com, to purchase tickets and um, look at the seating chart and pick out right oh, where you okay, want to sit. Good. All right, just like downtown uh, New York City. <laughs> yeah. Just kept the prices are a little different. Yeah. <laughs> you brought along today a couple of the cast members. Yes. We are really honored to have you guys here. Let's begin with uh, Emerson. You play Jane Banks. Who is Jane Banks? Um, she is a little British girl who lives in London, and she's about my age, so we're about the same. Okay, and what age are you? I'm eight years old. And what grade would you be in? Third grade. Third grade. Mm -hmm. That's a great year, isn't it? 
Uh, have you been in other plays? Um, no, this is actually my first one. And you're pretty excited about it? Yeah. How are rehearsals going? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. And next to you is Ben Adair, who plays Michael Banks. And are you guys brothers or sisters in the play, or husband and wife, or what? Um, <laughs> we're brother and sister. And um, we're supposed to be like brats and. Brats? Sally. Was that typecasting? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had to push him really hard at the audition. Can you say that snottier? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and I'm really, Michael is younger than Jane, but I'm 11, so all right, there's age difference. And what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. Okay, and where do you go to school? At Fort Gratiot Middle School. How about you? St. <laughs> Peter, Lucid, and Macomb. Okay. Oh, from Macomb. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Have you been in plays before, Ben? Um, I think this is like my 19th show or something. 19th like that. show? Oh my God. You're, you're going to get in, they have to get a union card. <laughs> a SAG card, or whatever they call those things. Yeah. Do you, uh, have you played only musicals, only serious stuff, or a little of both? Um, both. And what do you prefer? Musicals. Do you? Are you a, a singer? Yes. And a dancer? Yourself? Yep. Do you play instruments too? Yes, I play the clarinet. Great. Yeah. Um, talk to me about the play. What's, what, what do you like about the play? Um, I like how there's a lot of cast members, and everyone's really good at it, and I like how there's a lot of things going on, and it's really exciting, and sometimes you're just like, whoa. <laughs> how about you? How about, what, what do you um, like about the play? I don't know. It's all fun <laughs> to do, so. Does it take a lot of time to, to rehearse? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're there about uh, three to four times a week for a couple hours every night. Um, and actually, Jane and Michael, even though the play is called Mary Poppins, Jane and Michael have the biggest parts. So they've got a lot, to, a lot to do to keep them busy and a lot of lines to learn and songs to sing. So they're doing what great. What are some of the songs you sing that we might know? Um, <sighs> we like Super Cal. Super Califragilistic Expialidocious. Can you do that for me right now? Yeah. Oh, they can spell it. Can spell you want to do it? Spell it? Yeah, go okay. ahead. S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T I C E X P I A L I D O C I O U S. Wow. <laughs> How about crew? Crew, we need a little applause here. <laughs> crew from the back room, from the back room. You guys did great. How many different numbers are you performing? Um, we perform a lot. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, we have do you a counted? Lot. I mm -hmm. think there's like I don't know, maybe thirteen. Thirteen songs. Wow. And then there's dance wow. numbers on top of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and lines. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot. Well, I think you two are hooked on theater. <laughs> Now you have, uh, did you had the experience of going next door and you see you were in front of a green screen. Do you think you want to be on TV too? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not a lot. Not yeah. a lot. All right. I'll just enjoy it all, sir. Yeah. Enjoy it all. And uh, good luck to you. Have a great, have a great show. Thank you. Let's go through times and dates again. Yep. Um, so visit the, the website, riverbanktheater.com. And under the Mary Poppins tab, you'll see all the shows. There are 11 performances. Um, Friday, Saturday, and, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday are at 7 p.m. And then matinees, Saturday and Sunday are at 3. Oh, that's a lot of shows. Yeah. So there's five shows a week. Well, the schedule changes um, weekly. So okay. So, yeah, just check the website for every date. But there are 11 shows total. What's coming up at the Snook? I know the you normally have like one yes. in the River Bank and one in the Snook. Yes, and actually that's going on right now. Um, we're opening tomorrow night with And the Winner Is at the Snug, and that runs three weekends as well. So um, that goes through. That'll butt up to this one. April 3rd. Yep. And then this opens April 10th. Okay. And the fall and the, the summer and fall seasons are, are already planned. They're, we're in the planning stages. Yes, um, they're, they're scheduled, but we're having auditions actually the 29th and 30th um, to kind of cast the next four shows, and we'll get busy working on those. Are you looking for any particular kinds of actors or actresses? Um, yeah, one of the pieces is a period piece. It takes place um, in 
old British kind of, you know, picture the white poofy hair and mm -hmm. big dresses, that sort of thing, the restoration um, time period. So we're looking for ac serious actors for that piece. And then um, the next three shows are musicals too. So anybody mm. who loves to sing and dance, come on out and check Great. it out. Great. Yeah. So, sir, what, uh, what is your next play? What do you want to do next? Do you want to do a serious mystery or do you want to stay in musicals? <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to tell them what you're doing right now? Um, right, wait. Cinderella? Oh, yes. Right now, um, at Port Huron High School. Yes. No, Port Huron Northern. Right. Um, they are doing Cinderella. Mm hmm And so I'm part of that one, too. You're a busy man. Yes, he is. <laughs> are you in other performances? Or are you... Um, um, not right now. Not right now? You think you want to continue in the theater? Yeah. That's pretty exciting <laughs> stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. You well, very, very, like, go ahead. Do you dance, Emmy? Um, I used to, used and to. I still kind of do. Yeah, still yeah. kind of dance. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was very an honor to meet you. Yeah. Good luck in the play. Mr. Adair, nice yeah. to see you. Brittany, always Thanks. a pleasure seeing you. That's about it for this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Until next time, I'm Paul Dingerman. See you soon. And get down to the riverbank and see these guys perform. See you soon.